Uh, hi, I'm John Garrett. I'm a member of the Pasadena Audubon Society. Uh, I'm a, currently an undergraduate student at UC Santa Cruz. Um, we're here at Haha Magna Watershed Park, one of my favorite places to go birding. Uh, so yeah, let's go birding. Okay, so we have a Buick Ren singing over here. He's kind of hiding. He's doing a dee dee dee. Um, there's also a Rent It singing over there. He's doing that kind of accelerating ping pong ball sound. Um, yeah, they both really like this kind of habitat. Chaparral and real fat. Yeah, or when you're birding, there's not really any particular bird that you're looking for. Um, I mean, there'll be common birds that you kind of expect to see every time, but there's always something that surprises you. Yeah, there's a willow flycatcher in the eucalyptus tree up there. Um, they don't really breed here. They're, this one would be a migrant. They've been pretty much extirpated from the county as a breeder. Several yellow warblers up in here. Um, so there's lots of other kinds of evidence of birds here too, like here's lots of bird tracks, and they could be California quail, maybe tokens. Um, yeah, signs of lots of birds here. There's a California thrasher crawling over here. Maybe not that. They're very skulky birds. A yellow rumped warbler just flew up here. It's one of my first ones of the fall. Um, they breed in our mountains and in the Sierras and in the Rocky Mountains and farther north. Um, but here they're mostly just common in the winter and they're one of our most common birds in the winter. Okay, a common yellow throat just popped up in there for a moment. Um, they yeah, really like wetland kinds of areas. some lesser goldfinches and a California toby feeding at the side of the path over here. Um, an American kestrel just landed up there. Uh, they're a kind of falcon. Um, they live here at Hahamongna. They're the smallest kind of falcon in North America. So they eat mostly very small prey items like you know, insects such as grasshoppers and maybe also very small mammals and birds. So a western scrub jay on the ground over there, he's carrying an acorn. He might store it underground and go back for it in the winter. Uh, there's a red-tailed hawk up on the pole over there. Uh, they love natural places like Ahamanga. This uh, expansive mule fat out here is where uh, a couple of least bells vireos uh, spent the summer here for the first time. Uh, they're a federally endangered bird, so if they came back here to Hahamongna, that'd be really cool. Hahamongna is a great place for birds to breed, but also spend the winter and migrate through. Places for birds to breed are really important to protect, uh, but what's often overlooked is that uh, places for them to migrate through and spend the winter are just as important. And uh, Haha Magna is great because it functions as a place for birds to do all of these things. Uh, thanks for birding with me today. We saw some pretty cool birds here at Haha Magna. Uh, I hope you get a chance to come out here and see what birds are here for yourself.